everyone, it's Vanessa. I'm here today to share with you my April TBR. I am kicking back a little bit and just reading what feels good, what I'm excited for, and trying to get to things that I've had on my TBR cart for a long time that I've been kind of putting off because of all of the planning and reading that I've been doing in the past few months. So hopefully I can get some of those old things off of my shelf and I can get to some fun things that I've been looking forward to. So first, let's go through the nonfiction. I think that be good. I'm currently reading Last Call by Elon Green. This is a true crime book and it's focusing on a serial killer who targeted gay men in New York in the 90s and so far we've learned about a few of the victims and we're learning about a few of the people that were there during that time and kind of knew the suspect um, and the victims. So far so good. It is gory. I will say it is not for just anyone to pick up. There is a lot of description about the bodies themselves and I know that that's not for everyone so I just wanted to put it out there in case that's something that you are not a fan of reading. Um, but yeah, so far so good and I'm listening to the audiobook through Libra FM. There's one that I mentioned in my previous video so I'll just briefly mention that I will try to get to Turning 15 on the Road to Freedom. All that I know about this is that it focuses on someone that was there um, during the 1965 Selma Voting Rights March. So I'm excited to read it and it's also kind of a young readers edition and it's pretty short and has uh, illustrations inside as well. Another nonfiction book that I really want to get to in the month of April and my book hold just came in, um, it's at the library, I need to go pick it up tomorrow, is Three Mothers. And this is a nonfiction book looking into three mothers that were really important to the civil rights movement. I've heard really great things about this. I also have the audiobook from Libra FM and hopefully it's fantastic. And then one of my most anticipated releases for nonfiction came out um, just in the past couple days. I also have the audiobook ready for me to go and it is Children Under Fire and American Crisis by John Woodrow Cox. He writes for the Washington Post. He's written quite a few stories about children and gun violence, not specifically looking at you know mass casualties but also looking at like how one single act can affect one child um, even singular smaller scale instances of gun violence he won a Pulitzer Prize for it as well so I've been really excited to see I believe this is just a collection of all of those stories and then um, he's added some other stuff to it as well he has a talk coming up too that I signed up for online virtual he's also a J school grad from where I went to college at UF so go Gators and next I'll show you the three graphic novels which you've seen already probably if you watched my last video but if not here they are again Green River Killer a true detective story this is a true crime account of a case that is literally all I know about it, it is fully in black and white and that's all I want to know going into it. Another one is Trashed by Dirk Bechter this is the last of his books that I need to get to and it's about his experience working in sanitation. And then lastly, we have There's the Mermaids by Kat Lay, and I loved her book Snapdragon, so I'm so excited about this. It is an adult graphic novel, and I believe there are some magical elements. As you can see, there are mermaids involved. Let's talk about kids' books and young adult books. I only have two. I read quite a lot of middle grade books last month. Um, this was going to be on my middle grade TBR, but then I kind of held back and I thought I had too many books and it was a good call because I wouldn't have gotten to it. So I'm gonna to try to get to it in April. It is Premeditated Myrtle. This is a Myrtle Hardcastle mystery. This is a new kind of cozy, um, but also old timey detective mystery story. And it's set in England too. So I'm hoping that'll be really interesting. I believe it's becoming a series and the second one just came out. And I will also probably listen to it on audiobook. So we'll see. I love smart girls solving mysteries in middle grade. And finally, one more that I showed you in my previous video that I'm going to be getting to in April for sure is Good Girl Bad Blood by Holly Jackson. This is the follow-up to A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, which I really enjoyed listening to last year. I'm also probably going to listen to this one. It's a Libro FM ALC, thankfully. Let's look at my adult books. So definitely in the first few weeks, hopefully, a couple weeks, I will finish Daddy by Emma Klein. I also would like to listen to this, and it is um, stories. Two more that I showed you in my previous video um, is Nothing to See Here by Kevin Wilson. This is one that's literally been on my cart probably since before December at this point. It's just still in my house. I really need to read it. I have a coworker that 
doesn't stop talking about this book she really loved it and so i want to read it as well it is quite short i don't know why it's taking me so long but i'm gonna read it in april okay it is a goal finally the lager queen of minnesota i think this will be kind of like a nice light lift to compare some of the other books that i have sometimes one that i started this morning that i'm really excited about and i'm already like 50 pages in is the house in the cerulean sea by tj Kloon. this is like everybody's favorite from the past year i want to say and finally my hold came in because there are so many people in line for this book same with my audiobook hold i wanted to time both the physical copy and the audiobook copy at the same time um it's pretty hard i'm excited to finally get to this so far it's really sweet kind of funny at points like some of the lines are pretty funny last but not least one that is probably Probably the antithesis of that and is a little bit darker is Acts of Desperation by Megan Nolan. I've seen quite a few UK booktubers talk about this recently. I looked up what it was about and it gave me vibes of like the kind of adult fiction that I like to read sometimes focusing on female main characters. It has to do with insatiability and her not wanting to let go of this person who is not good for her. I'm excited to dive into this one and see what I think. So that's it for my TBR. As you can see, there's quite a few books. I'm really excited about all of them. Hopefully I can get to all of them in April. I feel like at a quicker pace in the past few days, like I've been finishing books left and right, which I really felt like was not happening in February and March. So I hope that that continues in this entire month. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed. If you've read any of these books or would like to read any of them, please let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.